and good day today we're having a look at this it's an eco worthy solar panel 10 watt version and as it says here 12 volts so that's the charger for my battery we have a cigarette lighter adapter and straight uh, alligator clips that go straight onto the battery itself not much to look at the box I'll just swing it around as always this gives you the model number there and basically the same thing on the other side so we'll get out my trusty little knife and uh, we'll see if we can get this thing opened okay let's get this down how's this thing done here okay it's through now ah doesn't want to come out anyway ha ah. oh gosh that's one of those tricky ones where it's a uh, double dip thingy okay not to worry we'll tear it open anyway let's get this thing going I don't want the box it's going to get thrown out regardless and as you can see I'm having a devil of a time getting into it oh. there we go that's better now let's get this box out of the way and see what we've got in here Pull out that, and here we are. One little solar panel, and it's got a thing on there saying, uh, was it peel off the protective film, which we will do so shortly. Looks like we've got a little user manual, so we'll have a bit of a quick look through that, see what's in there. And as always, you can pause it at any time and have a bit of a read. Flip over the other side. It looks like it's all in English. And uh, that's all the instructions. And we've got this thing here, whatever this is. What's that? That's a... Okay, give a bit of info on what you can and can't do with it. So I'll have a good old read of this thing, of course, and we'll get on to it shortly. And... This is the panel itself, it's got a protective layer over it, and uh, you can see there. We just peel that off in a second. On the back, we've got a couple of rubber suction cups, and uh, they obviously go onto the windscreen. We have a little connector here, and the connector matches up with these Duvawakis. So you can put on different uh, connectors. This is the cigarette lighter. Now, not all vehicles apparently can accept the cigarette lighter. Some cars have to have ignition turned on, so in that case you'll be needing these. These are the little alligator clips. Same sort of scenario, they just simply plug into the uh, lead on the back here and then you connect these to your batteries. And that's basically all there is to it. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, supposedly the material itself is waterproof. Uh, there's two <laughs> ways of looking at it. One thing says it's not waterproof or splash proof the other one says it is so I don't know I'm in the car at the moment and I'm about to connect two little wires oh wow <laughs> I'll be blowed the solar panel is actually powering the radio I did not expect that that is a um, big shock to me but anyway the red light is on so it's definitely charging I put the little solar panel in the caravan door window and just simply run the lead down and I'll pop the battery underneath for the time being and that'll keep this thing trickle charged and running perfectly for me when I need it and I've laid the panel out on the ground. It's a little bit of light drizzle at the moment, so you may see spots of rain on the actual um, solar panel itself. We're still managing to get 19.26 uh, volts out of it. And we'll swing over to amps and go to DC. And we're currently getting 0.1 of an amp, um, which is not too bad considering the fact it's raining. And uh, still extremely overcast as you can see. Overall, I'm quite impressed with the performance of this little uh, solar panel. 
and hopefully you've enjoyed watching the video if you haven't subscribed you know please consider if you want to give me a thumbs up yeah that's okay give me a thumbs down either way doesn't matter if you want to give a, a comment below i'll be happy with that as well anyway all the very best hopefully i'll catch you on the very next video take care till then bye